Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're about to jump into a long time waited gun talk video. So, I mean, I know you guys have been wanting this one. It's been a minute, but I'm about to bring it to you. So stay tuned. Okay, guys. So, the last time I left off on gun talk, I think I... I know I had done individual videos. I don't even remember what the last gun talk video was about. Uh, I did a video talking about my, my battle belt setup, which I am currently wearing now. Give me just one second and I'll try to... Okay. I don't know if you guys can see. Uh, so, the belt is pretty much the same setup. Pistol mag, rifle mag, dump pouch in the back. Okay, I have a tourniquet right here, have a knife right here, and then this is my holster for my pistol. I don't have my pistol in it, don't need it for this video. Um, I think the last time I actually had a full med kit here. I took that off, and I'm about to show you guys why. This video, I'm going to talk to you what I am calling the, the total setup, or the, the total package, I guess you could say. Got my battle belt on. Now it's time to don my plate carrier, which I also did a video on this. I will leave the uh, video cards at the top talking about each one of these videos that I've already done, the battle belt as well as the plate carrier. So that way you can go back and watch those videos. This video is to show you how this system all comes together and work as one so uh, take off my glasses here for a second okay let me get these back on okay so now of course you get your plate carrier on you want to make sure everything is Securely fastened. You don't want anything falling off of you. It'll be a bad day Whether you're on the range or it's the real deal So there we go. All right, I'm good to go. I've got my radio here I've got to find a better way of securing this or get me a, a better radio system uh, the headset is hanging back here but I can get to that and pull that up to my ear um, I'm trying these out these are actually clips the holster system that I or not holster system I'm sorry the uh, geez I can't even talk the sling that I have on my AR I can unbuckle it and attach it to two buckles so I'm gonna try that out here I just got some regular carabiners wrapped uh, going around the strap and then I got these hooked on. These do have a quick disconnect, so I can get that off of me pretty easy if I need to. As well as the the uh, sling has a third disconnecting spot to disconnect from the uh, the gun. But I now have med kit here. This med kit is actually a lot bigger than the previous one that I had. Plus, it's off color. This is a desert tan. So with all of this black, it'll be a lot easier to spot this even with the medical patch right there to show that this is medical equipment. But this one is my personal medical kit. I still have another medical pouch here that I can use on other guys as well as some trauma shears that I keep really handy right there. Uh, none of this stuff gets in the way of me drawing my pistol or working with my rifle. Uh, one of the biggest things that I wanted to talk about is why I don't have a whole lot of uh, accessories on my belt. And that's because I'm carrying most of it here. I do have a pistol mag here and a rifle mag, which that rifle mag might get moved now seeing how it's sitting right up under my med kit. So it would be kind of cumbersome to get to it. So I might have to make some adjustments to that. But for the most part, my mags are right here in front of me. So I don't have a lot on the belt. Again, 
I do have a dump pouch here on the back. So if I do need to move things around, I can. I can drop it in the dump pouch. I can get to that dump pouch right or left handed. But as you can see, I have my pistol mags on front, rifle mags here. And again, I don't have much on my belt because if I'm carrying everything here, then there's no need to put extra stuff on my on my belt. That's adding more weight to my hips that will either slow me down or my range of motion will be limited because of all of that. So I'm, I'm trying not to put so much on the belt if I can get away with it on the chest rig on my plate carrier this is where it's gonna go if not I might have to move it to the belt um, I might have to move my med kit to my belt but find somewhere where it's not in the way hindering my draw of my pistol or maneuvering the rifle around sling it around whatever I need to do but this again as I said is what I'm calling the the total package Everything on here works together. If I have my rifle, I'd go to do a reload. I can reload from here. If need be, I can get up under that medical kit, get out another rifle mag. Um, this pistol mag, I might actually be able to fit a, a uh, multi-tool. I have one somewhere, I gotta find it. But you always should have a good multi-tool. You never know when you need a good set of pliers, screwdrivers, whatever. So I might put a multi-tool there instead of another mag. Uh, again, um, quick thing, on your pistol mags or your rifle mags, if they have some kind of a lanyard or some kind of a Velcro strap, use those. They're there for a reason. You, you'd really feel pretty stupid if you get out there uh, whether you're law enforcement and you're running on a SWAT team or military and you're out in the field, you're down range and you didn't use your, your lanyards or your straps and you're running, your mags are falling out and you haven't even noticed it. There are, there are some gear that have a retention device with a, a strap, but then it has a, I guess you say they're like they're plastic on the sides, but with that, uh, the stretch cord it adds retention and so your mags can fit into those and it holds it in there securely so while you're running your mags aren't falling out if you don't have that type of system I highly encourage you to use these use your straps but with that make sure that when you're training you're training with those straps over your mags so that way if you have to do a reload you know what you're doing. You know that when you go to reload, you gotta pull up that strap, get to that magazine, and insert it into the gun, and get back in the fight. Same thing with your rifle mags. Make sure they're pointed in a direction so when you pull that mag out, it's ready to go in. If you have it this way, make sure you have it to where you will be able to grab the mag out and then insert into the gun. Uh, it's a really bad day if you don't have all your stuff positioned how you want it. You go to grab a mag and then you're sitting there fumbling with the stuff trying to get it set up the right way. And when you're in those situations, seconds matter. You, you don't have time to be wasting fumbling your mags around. But again, got my IFAC, my personal first aid kit. And then I have a first aid kit for teammates. Teammates, or if you know there are civilians that get injured, I have first aid for them, first aid for myself. Like I said before, everything else still the same. Radio pouch still back here. Uh, this is probably the newest thing that I'm trying out. I don't know how that's gonna work. I might have to reposition my radio, my microphone here, so that way I'll be able to talk. My dispatch will be able to hear me clearly. That might work right there because I can get to that. That's close to my mouth. So dispatch will be able to hear me. Uh, make sure it's not falling off, but also make sure it's not getting in the way of anything. But man, this is 
shit video. I was hoping this video was gonna be a little bit longer. But, again, simple. Keep it simple. That, that is a very good principle to follow. It sounds mean when you say it to some people, but the KISS principle, keep it simple, stupid. If you wanna add stupid, keep it simple. Don't overthink all of these things. What is your role on your team? What is the mission? What do you need to carry on you to complete the mission? You don't need to put a bunch of stuff that you don't need. That's adding more weight to you. That slows you down. The more little things you add, and it might say this weighs this many ounces, and it weighs that many ounces, ounces equal up to pounds. So the more you keep adding, and yeah, they only say they weigh a few ounces, those ounces will then turn to pounds. So keep that in mind. Don't overdo all of your stuff. Make sure you are carrying stuff that you, your body, can handle and manage. Don't get a system where you have a whole bunch of stuff, too much weight, and then it slows you down because you're no good to your team if you're in the back sucking up air because you're tired because all of your gear is weighing you down. Uh, I think that's all I got. I'm going to have to get some more stuff for you. Now that the weather is getting better, I will get some time out on the range. So y'all be looking for those. Uh, we're going to go over a bunch of stuff. Reloading. Uh, different ways of reloading if you happen to be, uh, if a limb is incapacitated in some kind of way. So be looking for those videos as well as other videos that I got coming up. So that's all I got. Uh, guys, please drop comments. Uh, smash the thumbs up button if you like the video. Leave comments, share the videos, and make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell so you get notified anytime I do another video. You don't want to miss it. So, while I'm talking, hit it now. Hit, go down there and hit that button. Hit the subscribe button and follow. Do it now. But that's all I got, guys. Until the next time, see you guys in the great outdoors or see you guys on the range. Okay guys, so the last time I left off on gun talk, I think I, I know I had done individual videos. I don't even remember what the last gun talk video was about. Uh, I did a video talking about my, my battle belt setup, which I am currently wearing now. Give me just one second and I'll try to. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see. Uh, so the belt is pretty much the same setup. Pistol mag, rifle mag, dump pouch in the back. Okay, I have a tourniquet right here. I have a knife right here, and then this is my holster for my pistol. I don't have my pistol in it, don't need it for this video. Um, I think the last time, I actually had a full med kit here. I took that off, and I'm about to show you guys why. This video, I'm gonna talk to you what I am calling the, the total setup or the, the total package I guess you could say got my battle belt on now it's time to don my plate carrier which I also did a video on this I will leave the uh, video cards at the top talking about each one of these videos that I've already done the battle belt as well as the plate carrier so that way you can go back and watch those videos.